Hey, my name is Happy. I help candidates in .NET interview preparation. After watching this video, you will be able to answer this question in any interview. If you have any confusion in any interview question, then post in the comment section and I will make a video on it. So let's start with this question. At least two. Why two? Because sometimes candidates think that giving one difference is enough. But please make sure for basic interview questions, you have to give as much as differences as you can. So let's see the differences with the help of code here. So here is the code of the array. We are doing nothing but just declaring the array, assigning the array and then assigning the items to the arrays. Okay. So this is a simple array. And now same thing we are doing with the array list. We are declaring the array. We are creating the object of the array. And then we are adding items in the array, uh, sorry, array list. So that is the two codes. Now see what are the differences. First thing is array is strongly typed. This means that an array can store only specific type of items or elements. So if you see here, we are having only the type of integer in this array. So like in the last line, I have tried to add an integer to this array. So this is this line has showing that this is a compile time error and it will not allow to add a string to the integer type array. So this is about array. So what is array list? Array list can store any type of item elements. So here you can see we can add an integer and we can also add an string to the array list. So this is the first and very basic difference. Now the next difference is array can contain fixed number of items. See here we have to give the number of items in array in advance. Here it is 10. If we will not give the number here then uh, it will show an compile time error. So you have to give the number in advance for the array that how many items you are going to add in the array. But on the other hand, in case of array list, you can store any number of items. So there is no count of items uh, you have to maintain or you have to give anywhere in this array list. So this is the second difference. And I hope these two differences are enough and good. And you know that when you have to use the array and when you have uh, to use the array list. So mostly we use array list because that is more flexible as comparison to the array. Uh, so if you have any queries and about this question, then let me know in the comment section.